Hey guys, my name is Ishan Ashok from Analytic Entertainment, and in this video I wanted to introduce uh, the Baseball Savant platform by MLB. So the goal I have with this website is to cultivate a community where everyone can share and create discussions on the various topics that we have on this website, whether it's baseball, um, film, or philosophy. And what I want to do with this video is to give an introduction to a very powerful tool that people in our community, uh, or I like to call them analysts in our community, um, can use to start creating their own insights and start creating their own discussions uh, for the website. Um, and the Baseball Savant is a great tool, and let's get right into it. So right off the bat, this website just screams data-driven. There's stats on the corner of the page. There's articles where new metrics and uh, new metrics and player performance are, are being highlighted. Um, you see more players being highlighted for various stats. Um, and it's just a lot of data. We can go into each individual game. Um, they give us individual pitch stats, um, individual hit stats. It's just a lot of data. And right off the bat, we can see there's various stats that maybe the average Major League Baseball fan does not know, like spin rate or horizontal and vertical break or exit velocity launch angle. And one of the great things with this website is that they provide you definitions with all the stats that are on the page in a way that's easy to understand for new and existing fans. So one of the great tools that I like to use uh, to start finding my own insights on this website is to look at individual player pages. Now every single player that has played in the game since this website came out has their own individual page and each page has a lot of information. So let's start with a player like Josh Donaldson. Josh Donaldson's been in the news a lot uh, because Yankee fans don't want him on the team. They think he's bad. But the website can give us some new insights that we may not have seen on the surface level. Yes, uh, Josh Donaldson's standard stats do not look good. He does not look like a great major league player. 222 is, if we're comparing to, if we're saying 300 average is good, 222 is not that great. But if we look at the stat cast numbers and the percentile rankings that compare him, um, to various players across the league last year um, where red is good and blue is bad. He actually hits the ball really hard. He plays really good defense. And yeah, maybe there's some um, flaws in his game, but hitting the ball hard generally leads to better results. So maybe he was just a little unlucky this year. And we have to take into account that last year's spring training was cut short um, because there was a player strike. Now, that's just something we can infer based off this little amount of information. Um, but there is so much information on the site. If I went through every single stat on this site, it would take me hours to go through. There's how he did, how he compares to previous years, how he did against certain pitches, certain, certain players that fit, who had similar seasons to him. Um, it's just a lot of data. Um, and they have the same four pitchers. Let's see who's trending as a pitcher right now. Let's go to Garrett Cole, another Yankee. Um, Garrett Cole is going to have his own page with a lot of stats. Um, it's just a lot. And pitchers have more data on the site because there's just more data points to collect. You can see movement, how his how certain pitches stack up against other pitches in the league, how many runs they allow, um, how, how his pitches move throughout the season. Um, it's just a lot. It's a lot of information, and we as a community can start using this to create our own insights and really start finding players and creating discussions and putting together content that we all want to see together. Um, and I think this is a great first step. Um, I hope to make more videos on this platform because there is a lot of stuff that I can cover. Um, but this is just a short introduction so you guys can start exploring it and start writing your own articles and start contributing to a community of analysts. Um, so as for now, that's about it. Um, if you like, make sure to share this content. If you like it, um, make sure you like it. Um, and if you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe because um, there's this is just the tip of the iceberg and there's going to be a lot more to come. I uh, hope you enjoy and happy analyzing. Thank you.